Hello, kids. I'm the Apostle John. Good to see you again. I had a brother named James who also was one of Jesus' disciples. God had me write down in the Bible several events of Jesus' life here on earth, especially some of his miracles, so that people would believe in Jesus. What is a miracle, you ask? Well, a true miracle is something that doesn't happen naturally and happens only by the power of God. One day, Jesus and us, his disciples, were invited to a wedding in Cana of Galilee. What a celebration it was! The whole family was there, along with a lot of people from the neighborhood. The food was great. The wine was good. That would be what you kids know as grape juice. And this lasted for several days. Man, you guys are getting gypped when you go to a wedding. Have you ever been to a wedding before? Uh, if you do, man, it's not like what the weddings we went to. I hear you only have one meal, and it's usually all over in one afternoon or evening. Well, at, at this wedding, everybody was having a good time when a problem arose that was really going to embarrass the family who was having the wedding. Uh, they had run out of wine. There was no more. The jars were empty. There wasn't any way they could get more. Uh, they, they, there weren't any stores uh, nearby. Uh, the servants didn't know what to do. Jesus' mother, uh, Mary, was, was there, and she was helping with the wedding, and she told Jesus about the problem. Jesus said, Woman, why do you involve me? My hour has not yet come. And, and we were like, yeah. What did she think Jesus could, could do about it? Make wine come out of thin air? But she just turned to the servants and said, Do whatever he tells you. We all stood there wondering and watching what Jesus was going to do. Uh, nearby, there were six stone water jars standing there. Each one could hold 20 to 30 gallons of water. Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with water. And they did all the way to the brim. That's clear to the top. Then he told them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. And one of the servants did. Now I bet you're saying, wait a minute. They had ran out of wine and Jesus just had them put water in the jars. Why did he tell the servant to take a cup of water to the master of the banquet? It wasn't water. Jesus had changed it into wine. It was unbelievable. Uh, yet it can't be believed because I was there. I saw it. But it, it was amazing. He, he didn't wave a, a magic wand over it. He didn't say any magic words. He just changed it. And he, he just changed that water right into wine. Kind of like that. Not really. I, that was just a trick I did. Uh, but Jesus really did change that water into grape juice. And when the master of the banquet tasted it, his eyes lit up. He had never tasted grape juice that good before. He was shocked and excited. It had just the right amount of sweetness, tartness, and tang. He didn't know where it had come from, but the servant knew. Then he called the groom over and complimented him on saving the best for last. We then began to understand that this Jesus was not just some ordinary man. This was the first of the signs uh, through which Jesus revealed his glory, and we believed him. Uh, and we believed in him. You see, every miracle that Jesus performed teaches us different things about him or his glory. What is glory? It's everything that God is or who he is. It's kind of like how you know, how, how you would. It's kind of like how you would describe God or Jesus. Like, he is powerful, he's helpful, he's kind, he knows everything, he sees everything, he's the creator of everything. He is truthful, he is king, he is Lord. It's kind of like this. Who you are is not what you look like, but it's who you are on the inside, meaning are you honest, kind, caring, 
Are, are you crafty, good at making things, joyful, loving, uh, sharing, are, uh, uh, and playful? You are fearfully and wonderfully made, young people, made by God, and who you are on the inside is what matters in this life. When Jesus changed that water into wine, he showed his power over nature or creation to make something totally new and different from something else. He did it without any grapes or a grapevine. And it was perfect. It was the best. You see, it was nothing for Jesus who was there with God in the beginning to change water into wine. For it was through Jesus that all things were made. He has control over them all. Therefore, we like Jesus' disciples should believe in him. And that's what I meant uh, or, or, and that's what I want you kids to remember today, is that Jesus is God, and he has the power of God. And he showed some of that power on the day he changed water into wine. And I also want you to remember this memory verse, young people. And, and I've got some motions to go with it to help you remember it. It's John 1, 1, the very first chapter of John, the very first verse of the book of John. It says, in the beginning... And we're going, it says, in the beginning was the word. Now, the word here is not words that we speak out of our mouth, but the word is, is meaning Jesus. So when we say word, we're going to do the, the sign language for Jesus, okay? So it says, John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. All right, so let's do that one more time. John 1.1 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So that's your memory verse for this week. And, and, and I hope you guys have a great Sunday and look forward to seeing you again next week. See you later.